I remember blueprints being there. I don't remember uh, a screen. Anyway, this is like the best thing ever. Ah, yes, the VGS-1, the fastest, most complex supercomputer ever to be built. Boot it up? Yes. You power it on. A world of computing, the light awaits you. Greetings, user, undefined dot user. Welcome to your home computing experience. Open application, internet. Open application, surf the net. You have selected the web surf application. Unfortunately, the tide is low right now. Please check again later. Aw, the, the tide is low. We can't surf the internet. Closing web surf application. Open application? Fun. We'll do, we'll, we'll come back to games. Because that's like, it's in t that's its own thing in, in, in itself. We'll do these other two first. Earth. You have selected the Earth application. Earth, the greatest mystery of our time. Many academics subscribe to the theory that Earth does not exist. This theory is supported by the fact that it's really improbable, and that's just where science is right now. Given further credence to this theory is, by all accounts, nobody can claim to have ever discovered Earth. There is only record of people supposedly being there, or being told that it is real. The prevailing theory is that Earth is a mass shared hallucination, and that we should really just take things slow for a while and calm down to see if it goes away. <laughs> reassurance. You have selected the reassurance application. You are really looking quite nice today. Have you done something different with your hair? You're looking healthy. Don't forget to clean up and keep on top of things. It can be stressful if tasks pile up. You should go outside and get some fresh air, if you can. It's good to get outdoors for a while. Don't forget to eat enough. Try not to miss breakfast. It's important. It's natural to have flaws and aspects of yourself you aren't happy with. It's okay to work on them at a pace comfortable for you. You have value. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself and to others. Some really nice things there. And internet. I'll go back to internet and certs. You have selected the search application. Uh, what should we type in? Let's type in Kirby. Searching, zero results found for Kirby. Your search history has been submitted for federal re review. Oh no, now that, now that FBI will not have been searching for Kirby. All right, we'll come back to that. It's a, uh, it's games application. It's like a text-based adventure and it's pretty funny. Uh, we'll come back to this as well. Can't I like get through this? I think you can without blowing stuff up, but that's alright. You can actually see, see where this leads to. It actually goes up there. But anyway, let's, uh, enough about that. Oh, hold on. This is your bleeding edge top of the line audio device. Without it, you wouldn't be able to tune in to all your favorite radio broadcasts like Acquaintances at a Table, Goodbye from Sunshine Town, or Two brothers, and then also a third additional brother, myself. <laughs> Alright. And now we come to my favorite world. Uh, chapter 2, Battle of the Birds. Act 1, Dead Bird Studio. Uh, missing, find out where those timepieces went. Top review, two and a half stars. Actor is all terrible. Legal status? Totally not allowed in. Let's go. Okay, so... This is probably my favorite world, and this is probably my favorite level of that world. It's so great. So we start off in uh, Dead Bird Studios, in like a little parking lot area that we just kind of come in from. And we see these two arguing, uh, arguing out here. This movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. The movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on birdseed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. 
<laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. You owl express birds are just gonna record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. What? No, we haven't, you buffoon! Conductor, darling, this year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh, yeah? Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. What the what? You no good, dirty picnics! You copied our props! I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. Oh, that does it! Get out of here with ya! I've got a movie to record! Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark! My word. Oh, yeah? Let's see how well you do when you can't get into the reception. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, chucking the picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. <laughs> All right. Time to go, Owls! Let's make our killer movie! Oh, and, uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. And there we have it. Kind of a long-winded explanation to what this world is about, but... Uh, I think it's a really interesting and original idea to kind of have a level take place entirely in the movie studio. Because that's where the rest of the levels are going to be taking place at in this movie studio area. And I just really like it. It's, it has a great idea. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. I really suck at interacting with other birds. Yeah, I know how you feel, man. Huh? You want that movie prop they carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? <laughs> uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. Yeah, it's strange because the uh, the conductor apparently like he owns part of this movie studio, but yet he also owns his own train. So yeah, it's weird. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? I don't know. I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Yeah, I don't know, man. Once upon a time, on the Science Express. So, here we have... Oh, here we go. Any more dialogue over here? Uh, yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed past here. And he specifically said no penguins of any kind. I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. Alright, so... Even though the conductor has been only, like, making westerns for the past ten years, apparently, and here's some of his stuff again, he's won, like, every single, like, gold trophy, except for one. He, he's won one silver. Let we come over here, we get some of the, uh, penguin, penguin side. Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought? I like how these guys are just standing here snapping their, um, fins. 
Hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Don't get near DJ Grooves, all right? DJ Grooves means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be watching you, buddy. Eyes on you. You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Grooves' latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Honest. <laughs> hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Grooves fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie-going bird. You see my fingers here? You see how they're snapping? That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Oh, look. My fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? Oh my god, really? All these guys are being incredibly rude to me then. And over here we see DJ Grooves who have has only uh, silver trophies. Except for one. He has one gold trophy, so... Looks like this guy really needs to win. From what we can see. And he has some weird movie posters. Like this, this is a, uh, but, I, but I, I like his movie poster, it's called Funk E. <laughs> a definite, a parody of Wally. -E. Oh, hey, little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Don't even think about sneaking inside. Don't even think about sneaking inside. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So, before we go into the obvious way to get in, like the game kind of told us to, if you come over here, we see these, uh, sunglasses dispensers. We, and then if we use it, we get some cool sunglasses. And if we use it again, we get two pairs of cool shades. Why? Uh, I don't know. But we can wear two sunglasses, that's pretty cool. What about a third? What about three? Can we wear three pairs of sunglasses? Destruction of property. <laughs> three th minus three thousand pawns. Oh boy. <laughs> Looks like we'll be paying that off in a while. These signs say no humans allowed, only birds allowed. Well, I'll have to sneak in anyway. Trespassing, minus 7,000. I don't get why he doesn't stop us if we know we're trespassing. He said he just builds us for it. So, this is the uh, main gimmick of the level. Whereas, uh, you're sneaking around the movie studios. And, uh, see, a hacker is, like, holding, like, an invisible gun or something, like she's a secret agent, which is this very, very cute in general. But one of the things you have to be on the lookout for are these uh, guards who kind of patrol. And if you get caught by them, you only get hurt. But you can do stuff like this. And... You get fined for a uh, penguin harassment, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But here we have a uh, DJ Grooves filming. Uh, Come on, guys and gals! I can feel this take being perfect. Let's go, action! Whatever they're filming, I'm not even sure. I can't even get a good angle. You penguins ready to record the next scene? Let's do this! Action! Anyway, let's go on over. And we're suddenly in the uh, in the conductor's area. Oh, we can get up there. I forgot about that. Let's go up here and grab this real fast. Anything else over here? No. <laughs> we can see the behind the scenes a little bit. It's like he's filming some sort of uh, western 
Again. What the pack is wrong with you? So we gotta dodge this guy. In order to get past this <laughs> assault on cactus, 1,500. And as we kind of go through the movie theater, we're kind of uh, switching between DJ Grooves and the Conductor's movie sets. And as we do so, the music changes, which is really awesome. I really like that. Uh, can't I do something like... Aha! Oh, Ice Yarn! Hey, nice! We'll go ahead and craft that soon. Let me go back to get it down here, so I'm not cheating. You think it must be pretty hard to see out of the sunglasses? Oh, I guess that's the proper way to get up here. Ooh. I like my way better. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> More owl harassment. Let's go ahead and get this real fast. Also, I shouldn't have to say, but this music is, again, pretty awesome. Wasn't there something over here on the uh, water tower? Hmm. We'll come back for that. You'll see what I mean later. Oh, shoot. I oh, uh I was like, uh oh, how do I get back to the switz? But it's just over here. Wait here for a look. Hour has been times two. 1,000. So that's the way we're supposed to go over here, but I think there's some collectible over here. Every single one of you darlings could fit that role. What's it? Ready, Let's take it so now the music kind of turns a little bit sci-fi. Music kind of cool. Am I going to be seen? No. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> I almost fell off there. I think I can just jump down from here. Hey, you said that wrong. Destruction and property times two, even though they're back to where they were. Assault on tactics times two, just by hitting that guy. See, so look like he's uh, filming a little battle going on here. Let's go down here. What's going on over here that I should be aware of? I do like the harmonica. Oh no, I forgot I gotta hit the switch again. Oh yeah, the harmonica is really cool. Now it's back to uh, disco. Oh yeah, for like five pawns? Yeah, I'm not going to go down there. Is this 
looks like he's trying to like, film something where they're all riding on some sort of uh, space guitar. I'm not sure. It does look kind of cool though. And we can't get past here, so we gotta uh, mess with the uh, lights. Tampering with electronics, 1,000. How do you know I'm doing this? I don't even know. Mm, nothing else. Now I gotta ride one of these little trolleys uh, and avoid line of sight. Looks like both of them have a uh, pretty incompetent uh, actors. But yeah, just having this entire uh, level and kind of world as a movie studio, it's just so good. I really like it. It's really clever. <laughs> Destruction of property times three. Times four. Peak TKO. Oh, what's going on down here? Oh, we can actually go in here. Hey, nice. A token. in the background. There's nobody else there. Oh, well, maybe he's talking about me. Luckily, if you're not on the same plane, they actually won't see you. So here, we gotta go our up and around the wall by using our uh, wall run technique. Same thing, but we gotta wait for this guy to pass. And looks like that about does it. What, no destruction of property? Okay, fine. I still have my little finger gun out. Magnificent. Stunning. This trophy is everything I desire on the shelf in my living room. Of course, this big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? It's just a little girl. <laughs> Hello. He jokes, man. It gets me like every time. Oh wait, you're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are frankly terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. And all that debt you were acquiring is just gone. give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. And again, they have, them, they have another uh, visual gag that just shows up in order to be taken away. So, yeah. I don't know, this is really funny. Is there anything else over here? I don't really kind of like, like looked around this area. Uh, no, I guess not. Hmm. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. All right. 
Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. Let's see how the picture turned out. <laughs> Darling, you move! The picture is ruined! How could you? We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old-fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. I got the skills of an artist. Yes, I make drawing fun. Today we're going to draw... Okay, and now on today's Skills of an Artist, we're going to turn this little girl... Oh, God. Into a bird. Since apparently they only allow birds in the bird studio. No, okay. So, uh... I don't know. Birds have like some eyebrows. That like I don't know. Maybe have like kind of like that or something. I don't know. Some birds have those type of weird eyebrow things, right? Probably. Ugh, they kind of look like little worms. Ugh. That's okay. That's alright. They look like worms. Um, birds like to eat worms, right? Yeah, that's probably. Sounds about right. Anyway, we need to make her to have a beak, so let's have a little bit of a nose here. There we go. Kind of fill that in. Make it a little line down a little, down the middle, even. There we go. Now that's what I call a beak. Uh, what else? Is, uh, what other things do birds have? Birds usually have ears, right? Probably. That's something that birds would probably have. We'll give him a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Fill in the ears with some consummate Vs. There we go. Consummate Vs. Consummate. And give her a great big smile. This is, uh, this is our uh, passport after all. There we go. That looks horrible. We're done. Perfect. Let's slide this picture into your passport and here you go. One passport for you. Passport for the Federal Union of Birds. I'm legally a bird now, I think. Wonderful, darling. Oh, just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual bird movie awards. That's fraud! Fraud! Hey, everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Oh. Where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Uh. All right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, I can't take you to jail, then you've got to help me even the score. That's right. You've got to be the star of my movies, too. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You've got that? Don't be late. <laughs> And that's it for the first level of Dead, Boot, of Dead Bird Studios. Uh, lots of really great ideas and stuff in this level. Probably is my, my favorite level in the entire game, and you can see why. This has lots of character and personality to it, and it's just really fun. So... That's it for that.